Hello everyone, and welcome to my tutorial on how to create an image map for your WordPress site. Um, it's a pretty basic process, there's not much to it. <coughs> so, uh, here's one that I've already completed to kind of give you an idea of what we're going to be creating. And if you're not familiar with image maps, it's basically uh, it's embedding multiple links into one single image. Uh, to create sort of hot spots. Uh, each one would be clickable and uh, go to its own URL. So that's what we're going to be making. So to get started, uh, we're going to go over to a site called mobilefish.com and uh, I'll be putting a link below for this as well. Um, to get started, we're just going to choose a file and for this I already have an image ready to go and just enter your access code upload okay if you're gonna come back and edit this later you can save this um, to uh, put in here uh, but if not then you just can uh, do this all in one shot so we have our image uploaded and first thing we want to do is choose whether to draw a rectangle, a circle, or a polygon. Uh, for this, I'm just going to choose circle. And with the circle, you just want to start in the middle of your hotspot and drag out. And so we have our circle. And then all you have to do is include the URL. And we'll link this to our site. And for the alt text, uh, this is what the user is going to see when they hover over the hotspot. So you kind of want to give a descriptive area, or a descriptive text of this area. So we'll say this window is clickable. Uh, there are some more advanced features you can use that include uh, JavaScript, um, but these aren't necessary for what we're doing. So um, you just fill in your URL, your alt text, and save region and our save selection shows up here so now we can just come back up and repeat the process we'll draw another circle and we'll do one around the tree this time and we'll link this one to google and this tree is clickable save. We have our two and we'll just do one more and we'll do it around the door here and we'll link this one to say mashable.com. This door is clickable and save. Uh, so then we have our we have three. You can keep going with these if you like, but I'm just going to do three to show you how it works. Um, when you're all done, click on the create HTML map, and it's going to generate some code for you. Uh, the only code that you need from this uh, is between the start and end copy tags. So we're just going to copy this text, and now let's go to our WordPress and. Let's add a new post. And another cool image map. <coughs> and uh, to start, you want to be on the visual tab, the HTML tab, and the visual up here. Start with your visual so we can insert our image. So let's add and we're going to select the same image that we used for the image map and for uh, the rest of these fields you can fill these out you know um, if you want for the overall alt text of the image uh, and you want to keep it at full size so our image map is accurate and we just insert and now we have our image so now we're going to uh, click over to the HTML tab and beneath your image code here you can just paste in your image map code 
And what we're going to do here is we have to change this one URL for the image. And since we inserted our image on the visual side, uh, we have our URL. So we're going to copy that and paste it right over that. And now you, you can delete this top section of code. You don't need that anymore. Uh, one thing about WordPress and switching between these visual and HTML editors, uh, it tends to try to autocorrect your code. And this can actually break the image map if it does this. So uh, switching between these two uh, is kind of a tricky thing. So if you want to keep WordPress from modifying your code, uh, we just need to basically put it all together without any line breaks or extra spacing. So we can start by removing these uh, comments. WordPress isn't real big on the comments. They don't really like them in the admin, so we're just going to delete those and then move everything up to the next line so that all of our code is together. And delete. And you can always remove this last uh, area shape. It's always going to be blank. And the reason being is because on our mobile fish site, um, if we don't fill in this area, the default URL, um, that's what causes this blank piece of code. So we don't need it. So we can go ahead and delete it. And now we have all of our code. And you can save your draft. And <clears throat> Click back over to uh, Visual, and let's take a look at our finished product. Uh, so here's our image map, and as you can see when we click on these, um, it opens up each in its own new window, and that's it. That's pretty much how you make an image map for WordPress. Thank you very much.